The burden of chronic kidney disease is large and growing. The dyslipidemia that is associated with CKD, it's characterized by high levels of triglycerides, low levels of HDL. There's a wide variety of therapeutic options, and they each have you know, different relationships between benefit and risk. We're talking about the effects of fibrates in kidney disease, a systematic review and meta-analysis, and we're talking with the author of the Jack paper, uh, co-author, Dr. Vlado Perkovic, uh, executive director of the Georgia Institute in Australia. Now, this is a paper in Jack. Can you first answer the question, why fibrates? So um, we've uh, had a long interest in the broader class of drugs and, and what they do. Um, we recently conducted a systematic review in the general population that defined a clear but modest improvement in cardiovascular outcomes for people who are treated with fibrates across the board, roughly of the order of 9%. Um, however, in both that uh, analysis and in a number of subsequent publications, there was evidence that the benefits may be greater in people who've got high triglycerides or low HDL or both. And as you've indicated, um, these are uh, um, patterns that are very typical of people with kidney disease. So we hypothesized that perhaps um, fibrates might have a particular role in preventing cardiovascular complications in people with kidney disease. And as you've said, the burden of kidney disease is very large. 13% of Americans have kidney disease, uh, most of whom don't know it. And those people are at substantially higher risk of cardiovascular events, both myocardial infarction, stroke, um, and just about any cardiovascular complication you'd like to name. Um, but we don't really understand um, how best to abrogate that risk and what treatments are effective and which treatments are, are not. So we undertook this review to try and define what the role of fibrates might be in these people. And what did you find? So we found firstly that the drugs work. They do lower triglyceride levels, they do uh, increase HDL, and they had a modest effect on total cholesterol levels. Um, we found that the drugs were um, quite effective at preventing cardiovascular events in people with moderate CKD, those with an EGFR level between 30 and 60, and which is quite a, probably the most common CKD group. It makes up almost half of people with kidney disease. And we found that in that group, um, the, card, the risk of cardiovascular events could be reduced by about 30%, and the risk of cardiovascular death was also reduced. And both of those findings were statistically significant. Um, they, were the, they were the most important findings. In addition, um, we looked to see whether the drugs were safe. Um, and one of the key concerns about fibrates has been that they do have a direct effect on serum creatinine, so that people's serum creatinine rises um, and kidney function drops by a few mils per minute. But this magnitude of effect in someone perhaps who's already got borderline kidney function may well be enough to cause people to stop the drugs. And many of the guideline bodies have actually recommended that people with um, kidney disease be treated cautiously with these agents, at least in part for this reason. And what we found was that that increase in creatinine was certainly present, but the totality of the evidence suggests that that's a transient and completely reversible um, change, and indeed that kidney function might actually be protected in people um, who are treated with fibrates, wow. with, with better kidney function in the long term and a reduction in urine albumin excretion, another marker of kidney disease. Uh, in an accompanying uh, editorial commentary, Peter McCullough and Michael DeLoreto state, this report provides further support and clarity on the cardiovascular benefits of fibrates in those with baseline elevated triglycerides and non-HDL cholesterol in general. Fibrates are some of the best tolerated drugs to treat dyslipidemia, and this paper supports their use in patients with CKD. So what's the take-home message? What's the clinical message you'd like to get across from this large uh, analysis? So um, based on, on the available data, fibrates do have a role in preventing cardiovascular disease in people with kidney disease who are at very high risk of complications. Um, they may also protect kidney function. The data that we've got suggests that they are safe, but it's important to note that the amount of data about safety in people with kidney disease is still relatively limited. The information that was provided um, wasn't comprehensive and it was provided in different formats, which made it difficult to say with absolute clarity that there wasn't some other increased uh, risk of different side effects, and that's something to keep in mind. But from the kidney function, function point of view, it's likely to at least um, be safe and potentially be beneficial. And from the cardiovascular point of view, the drugs prevent cardiovascular events. Terrific. The paper is in Jack and also the accompanying commentary. Please go online to see those for CardioSource World News. I'm Rick McGuire.